I'm glad to share uh, this this demo with you all. And um, so, just a short presentation about me. Uh, since uh, five years, I I am an MVP. For in the last year, I got my second award for a, a second category, which is the M365 Apps and Services. Uh, you can find here the link to my YouTube channel where you can find more than 300 videos and it's aimed to uh, developers, IT pro and, uh, and end users. I hope that you can find uh, useful content there. So now let's jump on the, on the next slide. So just uh, a summary of uh, the new capability in Microsoft Graph API that target SharePoint pages. This is great because it opens um, the, the usage to other many scenarios. Uh, it's in beta right now, so it, Microsoft, of course, is still working on it and there are um, changes. I already phased um, uh, a change, so then I, I will show you later. And um, so basically with this new capability, we can finally migrate uh, content in SharePoint, more specifically pages um, across sites and across tenants. Now, recently, Microsoft has added uh, uh, more endpoints where you can uh, collect uh, horizontal section, vertical section of the page, web parts, and there is one which is great that allows you to expand the, the full canvas of the page. It means that you can grab the entire content of the page and then create a new page with the same content in another place. Now let's jump on the, on the demo directly. So I'm going now to open my Visual uh, Studio code. I'm, I'm user to work with Visual Studio code when I deal with Microsoft Graph API. Here I have several uh, endpoints that I'm, I'm consuming uh, in this specific uh, first endpoint. We can see that I'm, I'm grabbing uh, one page on the, on the home page, uh, on the home side of my SharePoint tenant. I am, as I mentioned, on the beta endpoint. I already grabbed a valid token that I can use to consume this endpoint. And here I have the response of my request. I can see the result of the page. Um, I made a video, um, I, I guess, two weeks ago about this functionality, and now I can see the, the payload that the JSON payload that uh, it's it's a little bit different. There are more information, uh, which is great. So you can uh, you can deal with all this meta information um, about the page. What is missing here is one specific uh, attribute, which is uh, the content of the page. And this is contained in the canvas layout. It's called property. There you can find an array with the um, with all sections and web parts. So you can uh, grab this uh, this thing by adding uh, in the in your query of, of the endpoint. You can add expand the web parts to collect all web parts contained in the page. And then I guess I'm not 100% sure, but I think uh, uh, in the future we could make also a use of the canvas layout um, in the expanding property to get uh, the sections and web parts in uh, one shot. Now, let me uh, jump on uh, this other browser instance where I have my Power Automate flow built already let me edit this um, and here let me highlight some uh, specific step of this flow so this basically this flow is triggered manually and it grabs uh, a token that allows me to consume the graph api endpoints then uh, here in this step uh, i'm i'm going to to get a specific page on the on the site and then uh, here after the parse json i have another step to compose my json payload that i will use later now i tested this before and <clears throat> the 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 payload um probably it's not it's not corrected so i cannot get now the dynamic value uh, of the content, I, I have more specifically, I have an error on the on the get request when I try to expand the canvas layout or the web parts. It does not work. It, it I have an uh, an error message that tell me that the web parts or the canvas layout it's not a complex object. 
or it's it's not an object that I can navigate. But anyway, so I added the uh, static uh, JSON payload to the next uh, request, to the next post. I'm going here to basically to post a new page in uh, in my global HR uh, communication site. And then what I added here um, as a content is uh, is this uh, this JSON payload. So let me show you in practice what I'm talking about. It is basically this page that I have on my home site. It's a normal uh, SharePoint page with uh, a text. Uh, it's um, a very simple scenario, but um, you can deal with uh, complex content on the page with uh, more sections, columns, rows, and and more web parts. But as I mentioned, by expanding uh, the content of the page using the Graph API endpoint, you are able to collect the full canvas of the page. Now, let's um, let's migrate this, this page on, uh, on the global HR communication side. So let me run now this, this flow. Let me hit the test and the run flow done. And let's see the result. And now it's the the flow. It's it's completed. This means that I can jump on my site pages here, and I can immediately see the the page that is showing up, the new page a few seconds ago. I'm using a, an application permission approach to to consume the graph API. Uh, this means that you can uh, you will see this um, application permission uh, showing up when the page is migrated. And the really important, when you create the page, it's important that then you grab the ID of the page already created, and then you you make and you consume another post request to publish the page. Otherwise, especially if you use this approach, uh, this this uh, page will be not visible to, to anybody. Now, if I open this test uh, ASPX, I changed the header of this page. And then what I have here basically is the same content of the page that we have seen before with links and the, the HTML. Basically, I can jump back on the on the same page. It, it is exactly the, the same content. So this is uh, this is how it works. And it's as I mentioned, it's great to to have now this new capability um, along the Microsoft Graph API. And yeah, I'm now really curious to see the, the great uh, next uh, demo coming for a new episode of the Warrior Horses. Thank you again, and David, All back right. to you. Awesome, Juliana. Really, really appreciate it. I, I love the overlapping circle here of how you're using Graph and you're using Power Automate, using M365 technologies along with Power Platform. Really a, a nice showcase of better together. So thank you so, so much. Excellent work. Mm -hmm.